everyone and welcome back to this series of uh, three phase uh, practice problems. Uh, and in this question, basically, uh, we will have three loads connected. Two of them, we know the power consumption. So for load one, we know that consumes 6 kVA, and the power factor is 0.8 lagging, 0.83 lagging. For load number three, we know that the P, the real power, is 8 kilowatt, and the power factor is 0 0.707 leading. What we don't know is load two. Load two, we don't know anything about it, but we have some information about the total uh, supply that gives power to these three parallel loads. So we know that the voltage is 208, the uh, line to line voltage. We know that the line current that supply these three loads is 84.6 amps. And we know that the combined power factor of these three loads is 0.8 lagging. So we want to find this P and Q. And in this question, again, the power triangle is extremely important. That will be the main thing that we will be using to solve this question. So these are the four parameters of the power tri triangle, the magnitude of the S apparent power, P, Q, and the angle. So once I know two values, I can find, I can find the rest. Okay, so we can say that the P total is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3, and Q total is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So now our problem is to find P2 and Q2. Now I can find P1, P3, Q1, and Q3 from the information that we have. So P1, is equal to what? P1 is equal uh, to, again, using the power triangle, okay, is equal to the magnitude of S, so S1 times the power factor, one, which is equal to, using, again, the power triangle, the power factor is equal to P over, over S. So from this, we can say that uh, the P1 is equal to six, times the power factor, which is 0.83, and this give me 4.98 kilowatt. Then I can find Q1. Q1 is basically the sine of the theta is equal to Q over S. So again, it is S1 times sine of theta or cosine inverse of power factor one, which is equal to six times the sine of cosine inverse of 0.83, which is equal to, so if you do the calculation, you find this is equal to 3.35 kVAR. So we now, we found P1 and Q1. Let's find P3 and Q3. Now P3 is is already given to us, 8 kilowatts. So P3 is equal to 8 kilowatt. Now, when you look here, tan theta is equal to Q over P. So from this, you can say that Q is equal to P times tan theta. And tan theta and theta is equal to cosine inverse of the power the power factor. So from this, you can say that your Q3 is equal to P3 times tan of cosine inverse of 0 0.707. And this will give me 8 K V A R. But wait a second here. This is something very, very important. The power factor here is leading. What does it mean leading? Leading means it's a capacitive uh, reactive power. So if it's a capacitive, then this has to be minus, not plus. Okay? Because inductive load consume reactive power. 
capacitive load produce actually reactive power. So this is why for a lagging power factor, the KVR will be always positive, but for a leading power factor, this will be this will be negative. Okay, very, very good. Now we are we found P1 and P3, Q1 and Q3. Now we need to find P total and Q total. That's now what we want to find. What do we know about uh, about S? We know that S total as a magnitude is equal to root 3 V line times I line. And we have all information that's needed. This is equal to root 3. V line is 208. And I line is equal to 84.6. And this will give me 30.48 kVA. That's the total S. Okay. Now, I need to convert this S into P and Q using the power triangle. Okay. So again here, this is my S total. This is my P total. And this is my Q total. To, so how I can find P and Q, I have to find theta. And theta, I can find it from, actually, from the power factor, because the power factor total is given to us in the question. It is equal to 0.8 lagging. So your P total will equal to the 30.48 times the 0.8, and will give me 24.8. 3.8 kilowatt. So this is your P total. Now the Q total, as we did before, you multiply S times sine cosine inverse. So this will also 30.48 times sine of cosine inverse of 0.8. And this will give me plus because, remember, it says here the power factor is lagging the total one. So this will give me 11.4 uh, for the, uh, sorry, this will give me uh, the total KVAR will be equal to 18.29 KVAR. Okay, now I am done. I know P total, Q total, Q1 and Q3, P1, P3. So everything is known to me. I can find P2. And I can find Q2, and we do that. You will find that your P2 is equal to 24.38, the total one minus the value of P1, which is 4.98 minus 8, and this is 11.4 kilowatt. And then your Q2 is equal to same thing. Q total minus Q1 minus Q3. So this is equal to 18.29 minus the 3.35 plus 8. Because remember, the Q3 was negative. So now it becomes positive. And this will give me 22.91 kVAR. So that is your P2 and and cute.